play is the story of Helen Keller and, um, and her uh, birth into a family that wasn't ready for a child with profound disabilities. It's not safe to let her run around here loose! So now you have a family who's faced with what to do with a child that can't communicate. It is about a child who is deaf and blind and her parents hire a governess for her who wants to teach her language and to teach her words and to teach her obedience. Mug. M-U-G. Mug. The play is about a teacher, Helen Kellen's teacher, and how she gets in touch with Helen and how she learns to communicate with a blind and deaf child. <laughs> I'll show you how. She makes letters. This one is C. The thing she said she wanted to teach Helen first, last, and in between was language. Language is to the mind more than light is to the eye. blind and deaf you don't know how to read someone's emotions that's all you have is their hands she doesn't really know how to communicate with others and how to get her point across w-a-t-e-r water it has a name when she's filling the picture she has a sudden realization that she learns something, so, and then she, like, is absorbing everything from after that. Ground! Yes! And that's that brilliant moment where she knows that water flowing from a pump and the spelling of water mean the same thing. And it's this fantastic moment on stage where we see that it suddenly connects. It's a brilliant immersion into sensitivity training for teenage kids. I definitely think that it's one play that really is going to hit home for somebody who's different. Because there are not so many people who are disabled, but so many people who find themselves different and they don't know how to express it. I admire that she is a fighter. She does not quit whatever she does, even if it is fighting with Anne or fighting with her parents, she doesn't just give up easily. She's very persistent. She wouldn't give up on this child. That's another message that my kids in the program are connecting to, that sometimes we all need somebody that won't give up on us. And Anne Sullivan did not give up on Helen Keller. Her persistence is one thing that I find admirable because when you're working with a child like you could very easily just give up. Cause you're like, okay, well, they're never gonna understand. But she, she wants more for the child than she wants for herself, and I admire that. Just because somebody's different, or with different abilities or disabilities, that doesn't mean that they're not capable of doing something amazing or great. Miracle Worker shows everyone that it's okay to be different, and you need to respect everyone else's differences and respect your own.